welcome to biosumi today we learn about the fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance or in short we tell it ft icr so let's check some facts so as i said that the first step of any mass spectrometry is ionization so here ionization is done mainly by esi so ESI is something uh, I have discussed in my previous videos one of my previous videos you can check that you will have that in the description box so after ionization what happens here here the magnetic field is used in order to trap ions into orbit inside of it how it's happening we will see later now no separation that occurs rather all the all the ions of particular range are trapped inside and here an ex external electric field helps to generate a signal here the ions will as i say ions are trapped in a magnetic field and excited by a radio frequency or radio, uh, radio frequency field now here is a relationship between cyclotron frequency and mass how is related it is f equal to q b by 2 pi m f is the cyclotron frequency q is the ion charge or you can say the relation between m by z m is the mass and b is the magnetic field so from here you can get 2 pi f equal to q b by M. so this is the vibrational or angular frequency so why it is needed as I said the ions will be trapped by a magnetic field like let's say there is the excitation plate and there is also excitation plate there is detection plate So ion here will be excited by radio frequency field. Okay, so this is the main idea. Now these vibrational frequencies of the ions are dependent on the size as you have checked. So check the equation omega equal to qb by m. So it's dependent on the size. So omega will be more when m will be less right and this is measured by the detector this two detector right and this is analyzed by FTICR okay and FTICR here it actually helps us these vibrational frequencies or angular frequencies into a mass spectrum that shows the relative abundance of ions at different masses now one thing you will think that from where these equations are coming so there is one force called Lorentz force equation it says that f equal to q into e plus v cross b Lorentz force actually tells about a particle of having charge q moves in an electromagnetic field where the electric field is E and the magnetic field is B so in the uh, let's have a quick recap for FTICR you need ionization through ESI and how it is happening which is uh, here a magnetic field is used to trap the ions here you can see to trap the ions a magnetic field is needed and the radio frequency will for the vibration or excitement of the ions okay and here electromagnetic field is required that means electric and magnetic both field will be there both field and with the Lorentz force equation f equal to q into e plus v cross b we can have these equations from angular frequency and the 
cyclotron frequencies from the angular frequency that is qb by m we can see that angular frequency will be more when the mass will be less so with this value and with this uh, detecting uh, detecting things detected things by these detectors uh, we have we can have a mass spectrum uh, that is uh, helpful for to know the mass of unknown compounds and how uh, here how the FTICR helps us with okay thank you i i hope you understand FTICR uh, see you in the next video thank you